I want my points. And I brought gloves. She's getting the points. Here's the olive oil. This is exactly how it works. <laughs> Jovin, put this right at the start. <laughs> oh, do you think this is going to be as good as it gets? <laughs> Get doing, my friends. Welcome to the Joe Shire channel where we cover all things superheroes, video games, comics, TV shows, all things geeky here in one place. And before we get into today's episode, I want to say that if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because if you like this video, I guarantee you're gonna like the other videos that we do here. Now, here on my channel, I like to focus on all things me, myself, number one, I. I like to stroke my ego and parade my own act. It's not the only thing he strokes. Sorry, I'm, I'm not supposed to. What's I'm not supposed to exist. <laughs> not supposed to exist Accolades. yet. I mean, accolades. It's all ruined. Damn it. Uh, but it, it, we are going to shift over. Masturbation joke and got the word wrong. <laughs> Great. Start it off strong. Today, we're going to shift the spotlight off of me and how I mispronounce phrases. And we're going to put the spotlight, the spotlight on uh, one of our friends that has created his own app game. Woo! Please give me a warm welcome. Uh, uh, it'll give me a warm welcome. And then also give Noah a warm welcome. Hi, Noah. Hey. hey. What's up, Jordan? Uh, uh, hey, Laser. Hey, Mark. Uh, Noah. Noah, you uh, tell you created your own app game. What are we playing today? So we are going to be playing my brand new app called Introverts and Extroverts. So it's a challenge-based game. Uh, think truth or dare. A little bit updated. It's super, super fun, and it's meant to be played with your friends, uh, social distancing for kind of the quarantine moment that we're in. And this, uh, this can be played on Google, uh, Android phones, and on Apple stores, right? Yep, iOS. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, on, are those the, on words? the Apple Store, yeah. On the Apple Store. <laughs> so it's on the so, App Store and the roof of, of the closest Apple Store. And of course, we can't play a game like this by ourselves, so uh, we unfortunately brought in Lasercorn and Mari as well to play with us. Hey! Hi guys, we had no clue you were there. <laughs> Hi guys! What are you, what are you measuring? Hello. I'm making sure you guys are six feet away from me. Are you guys? Oh. <laughs> all right. I think we're doing all I, right. I think you're safe. I don't know, Mari's box is pretty close. That's what he said. Now, it's important to note that we are playing this game uh, in quarantine land, but also one day in the near future, 2023, when we can hang out with each other. This is a game that is fun to play at parties or while waiting in lines for movies and other things that we miss doing uh, outside of our own homes. So, uh, Noah, how does the game work? So, essentially, uh, you will create a game. You'll, you'll have a host. Well, first, you'll download the app. So, visit the Google Play or Do that. App Store. We got links down below, folks. Download it. Let's go ahead and jump in the game. It'll be the four of us. Uh, there's there, Things might get physical. It might get embarrassing. We don't know. So, let's have some fun with it. Uh, uh, and, Noah, because it's your game, will you be the host of the game? Today? Yes, of course. So, to play the host game, that game. You'll, uh, you'll start a game, and whoever starts the game, you'll get a code and you can text that code to anyone who wants to play. Uh, they'll just put that code in on their phone and you can join. What's cool about the app is obviously Joven's playing with me even though he's got an Android and I've got an Apple phone. Uh, so it's cross-platform, which is cool. That's awesome. Cross-platform. Welcome platform. to the future, bitches. Welcome to the future. Bitches. We've got everyone in here. I'm gonna take a screenshot here of the names so we can see them. We've got Noah, we've got Lasercorn, being an old man writing in all caps. <laughs> we've got Mari and we've Hat. got the Jovenshire. Yeah, the... You're, wait, hold on, Noah, how many people can play at once? Uh, so effectively an, an unlimited number. I don't know. So essentially the <laughs> <Test> code... <it> <laughs> out. The code is written... Oh, let's break it! Yeah, the code is written that technically everyone could join the same game. Oh, if you wanted next it. Next video we do, it's going to be a challenge. How many people can we get in the game? Yo, yeah. that's awesome. That's and a lot if of fun. You, if you ever disconnect for some random reason, um, you just join back in with the code and, and the same name, and you'll take in the exact same account. So technically... Suck on that, Jackbox. You could have one game going forever with everyone playing it. That's a lot of fun. That, yeah. that could be so fun for like a Discord or something like that. Ooh, I think you're hinting at, uh, at, at maybe what we're doing. Now here on the first screen, I see uh, introvert or extrovert. Do I need to choose one of these? Yeah, yeah you choose it's your turn. So either oh, an I go introvert first. challenge. Yeah, it's your turn. You choose either an introvert. Uh, I'm gonna challenge I'm gonna or start extrovert. off with an introvert wait, challenge wait, 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 because I like the color scheme. What? You do know that there's points attached to introvert and extrovert, right? Oh, I didn't explain. I do now. Yeah, no, yeah. explain it, explain it. So an introvert challenge is worth 150 points, and those are kind of like truths, but they'll really kind of dig deep. You'll have to answer, you know, a question oh, honestly. Nice. And then okay. an extrovert challenge is worth 200 points, um, and that one is usually like a larger challenge um, that you have to physically do. So it's usually more difficult, and sometimes it involves social media. So you might have to okay. publicly do it. And then if you pass, well, you lose 200 points as well. 
Uh, I'm I'm gonna do uh, the same thing I did in my marriage. I'm gonna set the bar low, and I'm gonna start with an introvert. Okay. Uh, how many relationships <laughs> have you been in? How many relationships? Okay, well, if we're talking relationships. <laughs> we're starting out with a very strong question here. Talking about your so, wife, <laughs> you might regret yeah, this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, it, relationships uh, imply that there was an intent to have an actual relationship. I was going to say relation, and let me tell you, there were some relations without the relationship. Uh, I'm going to go... But what if you see. didn't tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Mari, uh, are you guessing, or are you counting your own? No, I'm No, no mine's like this. No, I'm, ca I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you, Jovens. The higher low? All right. Uh, I'm guessing Jovens. So... Four to six days later. All right, uh, I'm gonna say seven actual relationships. Oh, okay. Wow. Whoa, really? Yeah. Mario was thinking way higher. I was actually thinking. Yeah, I was too. thinking sixteen. That's what I. Yeah, no, to we're say. talking about women I had relationships with, not women I banged. Okay. Wow. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. All right, so I've answered the question. All right, so as the host, I decide, and you have passed. I've passed. Oh, okay. Oh. I've chosen wisely. So that's 150 points to you. Nice. Uh, it, in the realm of, of, of truths and being honest, I feel like I should let you know, uh, I had dinner before filming this, and it went through me. My farts smell so bad. So if you <laughs> see me making some weird faces, it means I'm killing myself slowly in my room here. <laughs> Woo! Was that nobody, something you that really needed to share? Yeah. No, no, no nobody it's like, wanted I to know I want us that. to be open and honest and real with each other. Uh, answer the questions on your phone. Don't just. Uh, okay. Joven nobody has, wanted to know that. Joven has a video that he thought was a good idea to put up called "Our Best Fart Stories" or something. <laughs> that was a great video. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, Fart jokes. That video. All right, I'm I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna choose extrovert, and I just might regret this. So this is no, dye I your hair, and I just dyed my hair two days ago, and I dyed it because I was testing playing this game, and in an earlier uh, test I shaved my head. Now you are the I host think we should of count this it. game, but I am the host of real life, and I know that you are a psychic son of a bitch. And with that, I I know that you know that you knew that you were gonna have to get that prompt and you dyed your hair. Wow. So I I will oh, wow. I, uh, you know, yeah I will I will say because you have more than one hair color, then that counts. If it was just the one, it's like sorry you used it up on that on that time. But you man. have how many colors in there? Oh, I think at least twelve. No, oh, see that's yeah. that's twelve times that you can get uh, this prompt. See, I'm so aglo so glad I set the bar low because, like, like these are actual extrovert things. I yeah. wasn't expecting something like that. There's a chance that people will be losing points. Yes. Uh, okay. And I'm about to lose points because I love it, guys. Thank you so much. But I'm the host. I'm I'm the one who has to decide the law. Oh. And I failed this because I'm not about to wow. redye my hair. <gasps> so I'm about to be a negative points. Oh, oh no! Okay. You are your own worst enemy. Point. Oh, it is my turn. But but a humble and honest enemy. Well, we just had an extrovert, so I'm gonna go introvert. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't want to tie his hair again. Yeah. He's afraid of what comes up. What was the happiest moment you've had in your life so far? At Atomic Mari on Instagram. Oh, hey, look, oh, we know the person! That was my question. Yeah. Wait, this how did I- This is that you submitted. Oh, oh, that's, that's for Mari. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I mean, that's super easy. Uh, it was the day- When you met me? What? No, When no, I no. gave you your name? So this- When we filmed that one video <laughs> about ghost hunting? This one me? day, uh, about five years ago now, um, you know, it was kind of a big day. I ordered one pizza from Domino's and they gave me a free <laughs> second pizza. No, it was the birth of my son! It was the birth of my son, oh. best day. Uh, my, uh, future best friend, uh, we weren't best friends when he was first born because he was crying a lot, but like day two, by day two, we were like best friends. So, uh, yeah. I thought I was your best friend. What? No. Oh, did you really think that? That's so sad. Yeah. No, it's Tyler. It's very no. sad. Yeah. I need to. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is a lot of truth coming, coming at Joe right need, now. I need someone. I was who... going to say, can he even spell best friend? Then I realized I am not the judge of that category. <laughs> uh,. Joe, wow, you're you're my so you're sweet. my non -re non related to me best friend. Uh, but yeah, cool. Did I did I win? Oh, you won. You got 150 <laughs> points, sir, and you're right <laughs> in my eye. Oh, thank oh you. man. Oh, moment of truth. Introvert or extrovert? You know, 
we've had two introverts, and so I'm gonna go extrovert. I'm a little yeah, scared. Yeah, let's get it. Cut all your hair off. <laughs> all right, give yourself a mayonnaise facial. If you don't have mayo, use another condiment. Film it, post it on TikTok, and, and tag cut greaser. Um, I know I don't have mayo. I know we don't have mayo. Hold on, let me see what, what condiment we have, okay? Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh what do you got? Maple syrup? What? I want my points, and I brought gloves. She's getting the points! <laughs> All right, okay, you, you have a choice. You have a choice. Olive oil or honey? Oh, oh man, what honey, do you honey think, is gonna be so much worse. What do you think is better for your skin? Olive oil. <laughs> Olive oil. I don't know. I don't think so. Olive better. Olive oil will like moisturize. Honey will no, stick honey, to you. Honey yeah, is used. Yeah, you'll get sugar in your pores and you'll break out more than yeah, you Yeah, don't do get. honey. I would be but scared. Honey is used <laughs> in, in facial things. It's, what is it? Hypo, hypo, hypoallergenic? Hypoallergenic? Something hypo, like that. That's hypo. what dogs are, I think. Some dogs. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I probably oh, shouldn't be oh, doing this around magic. my computer, but... No! Here's the olive oil. Oh my gosh. I love oil too. Do it. Oh my gosh. Do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're just, we're oh, just it's just like... To... You gotta get the tea. You gotta get the tea. <laughs> Friends taught me you gotta get the tea. It's, it's just like being at the Olive Garden. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think that's how the Olive Garden this works. This is exactly how it works. <laughs> Actually, after like touching one of those breadsticks, it, it is. This is either really good for my skin or really bad. <laughs> but I'm gonna be very shiny for the rest of this. You're glowing, Mari. You're Yay! glowing. Sugar water. If, Mari. if anyone skips the beginning and they don't have any con on context as to why I'm this shiny, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Joven, people don't skip your videos. Do Joven, they? put this right at the start. Uh, no, I, got, I, have, I have great retention rate. I'm, I'm, we're golden. Put this right uh, at the start, Joven. <laughs> oh, do you think this is gonna be as good as it gets? Mari, that is a clear pass, and maybe you should wash your face. Oh, oh she's but eating also, like, it. Fail her. She's eating fail her. She doesn't get the point. She's eating her face oils. Get some bread. You know, get some bread. bread. <laughs> Dip a breadstick in it. Can you award bonus points? That should be a feature. Because <laughs> if she dips a breadstick in it and eats it, that should be like a hundred bonus oh, points. I wish I had croutons or something just yeah. to kind of crouton my uh, face. <laughs> What happens if you keep olive oil on your face <laughs> for that's a, a long good, time? That's a good Google search. <laughs> Take it off, you're gonna die. It's me, Jeeves, I'm from 2004. <laughs> Is it okay to put olive oil on your face? It depends on what okay means to you. Is it gonna burn your face off? No, but is it excellent for your skin? Probably not, period. <laughs> We've made it uh, one rotation around the sun. Uh, and so now it's my turn again. Now I'm going to choose extrovert. Uh, yeah. Because I feel like we've had two intense ones, and I can't be in any game where Mari has more points than me. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit it right now. Do your best impression of an e boy on TikTok, film it, and send it to a family member. Nobody wants to see that. What is an e boy? <laughs> uh, Google it, but essentially it's like a, a, a kind of like today's version of an emo boy. I'm gonna get trashed for that, but it's a very popular online boy, TikTok yeah. kind of sex culture. It's a boy. Oh, a boy. boy. Uh, I've heard the term boy. Oh, but yeah. you probably oh, can't man. say boy in the end. But with Got a it. little bit of an extra tilt, you know what I mean? He said, Will you defeat them? I really, really like MCR, Joven. Don't do this. Oh, God. <laughs> this making me yeah. throw up a little. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's pumping his chest out. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What does it say if your wife loves this? Have you have I earned my points today? That was a clear that was a clear pass. Wait, did you send it? Who did you send it to? Oh, I gotta I have to send it. I'm gonna send it the day of the video. Yeah, yeah. The day the video goes live. Because he's gotta oh. put the reaction on there. Okay. You can put someone's reaction there. I am down two hundred points. But <laughs> yeah, seeing as the last the last extrovert challenge made me lose two hundred points. I'm scared. So I'm gonna try to just get out of the negative. I'm gonna I'm gonna go okay. for an introvert. I want some points. All right. Oh gosh. And what a great example of my app is this. What nah. <laughs> what amazing random chance. 
But this is the one prompt that has a typo in it. Ah, oh, yeah, we were talking about this beforehand. <laughs> it's Steve Zaragoza. Shout out to Steve. So oh, Noah, uh, what's your most embarrassing bathroom story? So my most embarrassing bathroom story unfortunately happened sooner rather than later. This uh, is no more than a year and a half ago. And honest to God, it was probably like 10 months ago and I'm adding more time to make myself feel more emotionally okay with the experience. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I straight up, and this, this is what's insane, is it wasn't just a fart that turned into like a shart or like a little bit of poop. I straight up pooped my pants. Like I had, I had to go real bad, like real bad. This one obviously is already burning my stomach. This isn't gonna be a fun experience. I don't remember what I ate, but I probably had some Taco Bell or something the night before. Hey, that's not knock on the bell here. Oh my God, and it's, I still yeah. eat it. Don't blame it on Taco Bell. Wow, it's yeah, you're just gonna sauce. kill Joven's Taco Bell sponsorship, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I would eat that one. every day of my life if I could. It's delicious. Um, but I, I essentially sh my pants. I was holding it. I was clenching as hard as I could because I needed to go. So I started speed walking and never before have I failed at holding in my own. I straight up, I had a breach of the dam and I had, <laughs> I had what was clearly like a pressured spouting. A pressured spouting. <laughs> Because I was still clenching as hard as I could. Imagine, I feel like it's coming, I feel like it's coming, so I batten down the hatches. But there's just a little hole. There's a little opening, you know? My asshole is obviously a hole. So it's it found its way out, it squeezed its way through the cavern, and it's kind of like on a hose when you put your thumb. I added pressure, and I felt... I felt force <laughs> onto Marshy my pants. <laughs> And the worst part was it wasn't a small amount. Like it fully soaked into my underwear and my shorts is I it, was wearing. Yeah, question. Is it like when you uh when you actually sip from a, a champagne bottle and it like causes that air buildup and it just winds <laughs> up shooting all over your face? So you try to stop it, but it just like Essentially. Essentially. <laughs> yeah. Well and you can't you can't stop it either, because this is very different from like a prairie dogging. Uh -huh. Like prairie dogging mm -hmm. is just like, whoa, could, uh -huh. like hello. But yes. I, mean, I didn't like but, that. <laughs> yeah. Why does it have arms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pulling itself out. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. I'm going to yeah. animate two butt cheeks to go over your face and then they spread open. You mean Paco's but, but, going to have to animate? <laughs> yes. Poor editor Paco. So it got all over my shorts and I was wearing shorts and this is the first time this has ever happened to me. Liquid poop literally dripped down onto the back of my calf. No! Pour it. Straight up pour it. Yeah. How, 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 how long did it stay there? Yeah, oh, when did very, you get very cleaned short. up? It was, I was on my way to the bathroom when this happened. So I was living with Nuts. I had to go, this is, I'm just remembering. My grandmother was watching television and I'm just remembering now it was enough poop. Poor Gamma. This is really what occurred. So I filled my shorts with liquid diarrhea and it was so much, I felt it and I knew that it was gonna drip down and I knew that I had to walk and it was gonna drip around the house and onto me. So I now remember, I actually, walked with like a slight bend backwards, like I was trying to flatten out. I grabbed with my hand the pile that I felt, but the pile was pretty liquidy. So I felt the pile slowly being absorbed the whole time. And as oh. I was walking up the stairs, that's when the poop dripped onto my leg. And I made sure that there was no poop anywhere in my house, because I was not about to be found to be not only a pooper, but a pooper that dripped. And um, a drippy poop. pooper, yeah, that's the worst kind, yeah. <laughs> Even though, indeed, you did drip, mm -hmm. you did have a drip. I did, I am a drippy pooper, but I went into my bathroom and I took off my shorts and my underwear and, and burned them. <laughs> yes, I actually threw them away, I did not wash them, I threw them away, and um, oh, no. and I, I had to take off my socks and my shoes, of course, um, uh, in order to get them off, and I had to sit there with just mud everywhere. Um, attempting to clean myself up, and I did. This is real. I ran out of toilet paper. Oh no! <laughs> Why were you trying to clean it with toilet paper? It should have just been an immediate jump into the shower. Tell me you didn't use a sock. Tell no. me you didn't use a sock. 
No, so so I, I, I sat down, I started to clean myself, there wasn't enough toilet paper, and so I had to, and this was during the day, so my parents weren't home, they were working, and this is pre-corona, so they weren't at home. So I pre -corona. naked assed waddled my way out of the bathroom into my parents' room, into their bathroom, and finished wiping my ass in there. <laughs> but I fully naked up. covered, yeah, cleaned up in there, a baby wiped and then showered um, immediately. Um, it was not a good experience. And, yeah, it sounds uh, like a uh, terrible experience. Yeah, Steve just made me recount that, and I'm upset yep. about it. Man, and, and that's some of the the gold that you really get from playing this game. You get to hear stories about Noah talking about something cold running down his, his legs. Oh, it was warm. Oh, gross. Yeah, it comes out warm. <laughs> yeah. It comes out warm. Yeah, do you poop cold? Yeah. What? <laughs> Jovan's making cold brew poops. <laughs> How do you even do that? Uh, not only do we have to thank Steve Zaragoza for that particular story, but he gets to be tagged in it and has to hear that story. So uh, the yeah. joke's on him. And he, he also has to witness him. his name being misspelled. Uh, I know that you're the judge and all, but yeah, you earned those points. Yeah, yeah we're going to give that to you. I also discovered that I'm dripping. I felt I, I like felt Ew, my, oh my chin and I was like, ooh, that itches. And I realized that there's just droplets of oil. Should I keep going or should I wait for Mari? I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go get a towel real quick. Just okay. keep going. All right, I have chosen extrovert. You're- Always go in the distance. You're a cheerleader. Make up an original cheer and perform it. If you're brave, post it and tag DC cheer at DC cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. Man, that's the I don't know Dallas who they are. Cowboy cheerleaders. That's who they are. Oh, I'm got it. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to uh, clip this one out for you to send uh, Dave post. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cheer for uh, for Kanye West because he's uh. running for president, and I feel like he needs my cheer. And it's gonna be like, <laughs> let's go, Yeezy, let's go. Let's go, Yeezy, let's go. You can beat Trump, you can beat Biden. It's all in your head, but keep on fighting. Let's go, oh! Yeezy, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Yeezy, let's go. Because he's, he's, he lives in his imagination anyway. Wow. That's good. Okay. Oh, man, if I post that online, though, I'm going to get swarmed by, uh, by Yeezy supporters who want my head on a platter. It's all right. Hey, engagement. You don't have to post it if you don't want to. It's in this it, it says it, it says if you're brave. It's not uh, necessarily for the points. I might. I might do it anyway. R uh, rounding rounding us up. No, I, I did made this mistake already. Oh. Rounding us out and wrapping this up uh, for our, our last and se second and last round here. It's it's Mari's turn, oh, uh, which I believe has the chance to go for the gold yep. and win this game. Or I think it ends in a tie if she goes introvert. Go for the win, Ooh. Mari! Go for yeah, the who, gold! Who, who would I be tying with? Uh, both Lasercorn and Joven. They're both oh. at 350 oh, points. Tie. You're at 200 Hell points. Hell no. <laughs> ha! She's doing it! Oh! Oh, Mari's going for the win! Oh no. <laughs> oh, we might not be going for the win. <laughs> well, is this really Amy Schumer? Amy Schumer? Yeah, Amy Schumer. You're friends with Amy Actually, Schumer? No, 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 oh. no. She didn't. No, I'm just telling you to tag her. I don't know Amy Schumer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she said in the thing. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that no one doesn't know Steve oh. Zaragoza either. That would be great. Dope. Okay. Well, this is this is gonna be like rip Mari because it says balance on one foot until your next turn. If you fall before, then film a video of explaining what happened and apologize to Amy Schumer. Post it on TikTok and tag Amy Schumer. I don't have another turn until so, we do another right. video. Here. So what we're going to do is, because we are wrapping up this video, uh, Mari, we're going to have you stand on one foot while we wrap up this video. And if you can make it to the end, you win. You get the points. You're our winner today. But if you fail, well, tell Amy Schumer we said what's up. Yeah. Okay. And don't you make it easy either. I want you to, like, put a challenge. You're a ballerina. You can probably do this on your toes with your eyes shut or something. But, you know, give yourself a challenge. Okay. All right. Yeah, I want to see some yeah. twirls. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Wow! Okay. All right, she's going for it. She's All right. doing like and a now, what is that? Like lotus pose? It's something? It's not like a our outro. I really want to thank <laughs> all of you for watching. <laughs> and I want to thank 
my friends for hanging out today, and more importantly, a congratulations and a I'm so proud of Mr. Noah Grossman for making his own app game, which you can download now on Apple, iOS, and Android Play Store. You gotta look for those. Yeah, Pete! Down. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for reals guys, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video today. Remember, we got links down below. Play this game with your friends. Share it with your friends. It's our boy Noah. He made a nap game. That's awesome. Yeah, congrats, uh, buddy. And, thank you uh, so much, guys. all of our friends here. Uh, we've got links to all their stuff down below. we got the game down below. We've got Mari still holding it. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the final words here uh, from all of us here at the Joven Shire. We'll see you later. And she held oh, it! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mari, you are the winner! You are the winner! You are the game! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Introverts and extroverts. Out now. All right. Uh, all right, Noah. As our uh, as our game master, uh, I think you've earned the right to to actually say it. Send us out with a with a. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Boom! He did it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you need some more Jovenshire in your life, we have two videos there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe because if you like this video, I guarantee you're gonna like the other stuff that we do here. And if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram because we create a lot of content there that doesn't always make it to YouTube. Go check it out.